Hi, Steve Foster here with Legends of the Highway. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, and if you like what you see, hit the like button. We've got a lot of cool content coming your way for car enthusiasts. No hype, no nonsense, just cool stuff about cool cars. Please uh, subscribe and like Legends of the Highway. Hey, Steve Foster here with Legends of the Highway. We're at Finish Line Auto Club today with exclusive collector garages, and today the featured mark is Corvette. So let's see what came in. So here's a uh, Callaway C8 Corvette. And Callaway is very well known in the Corvette community as a purveyor of ultra high performance Corvettes with extra horsepower, handling, braking, and styling. They've run Callaways at Le Mans. They've done well at the racetrack. And here's an example of one of their interpretations of the mid-engine Corvette C8. Couple more C8 Corvettes, mid-engine design, which basically was a game changer for Chevrolet, moved them into the supercar ranks at an incredible price point. So on these Corvettes, I mean, you can tell the Corvette lineage and styling cues, but if you look at the interior, you see they've really upped their game with the quality and how modern the finish of the materials, it's outstanding. So here we've got an example of the C7, which was the last front engine Corvette. This is a Z06 supercharged probably one of the high water marks for the uh, front engine Corvette. Tons of power, tons of acceleration, speed. And uh, as you can see, this is a wonderful example of that supercharged Z06, the last front engine Corvette. Let's take a look at this. I believe it's a 64 Corvette C2 uh, factory knockoff. Beautiful silver paint. Really difficult to get a nice paint job on these fiberglass bodies, but this one certainly has it. This is actually an automatic, so it's got a power glide in it, which is unusual for Corvettes, as most of them were manual transmissions. Here we've got a really nice example of a 65 convertible. It's got the early rally wheels uh, on it, and once again in silver, four-speed car, black vinyl interior. Looks like, uh, according to the TAC, it's either a 250 or 300 horsepower version, which you can tell by the red line indicated on the tachometer. This is a really nice example of what appears on first glance to be a C1 Corvette, which is the first generation. But as you take a look at it, although the body is a C1, you can notice some details like the gigantic disc brakes, what appears to be a C5 Z06 wheel. If you take a look inside, it's all C5 generation Corvette with a modern dash, a beautiful leather interior, six-speed transmission. Uh, so this gentleman gets to enjoy all the benefits and classic style of a C2 with the performance brought by a more modern Corvette. So this is what would be known as a resto mod and it's very nicely done with it's just, you probably can't appreciate it in the video, but the paint job is just gorgeous. C5, anniversary edition Corvette convertible. Gentlemen's just ready to leave, it's a wonderful example. Custom paint, 50th anniversary badges and looks like he's off to have some fun and some breakfast. So this is a particularly neat example. This is a reproduction of the Corvette Grand Sport. They made a handful of these in the early 60s to compete with the Cobra. And these were actually faster than the Cobra. GM Skunk Works built these super lightweight fiberglass, lightweight glass. A local collector here has owned this car for many years. Fantastic car with a limited race history because of course GM had a ban on racing back in those days and they snuck these out. When GM found out about them, they canceled the program. So only a handful of these still exist today. And look who we found wandering around the Corvette. It's Connie Summers. Remember, we did an episode with her fantastic 906 from Ford versus Ferrari. Here she is at Corvette Day, and she's wearing a Grand Sport t-shirt in front of the Grand Sport. Say hi, Connie. And here's the icon, the first C2 Corvette, the 1963 split window. These have become the most desirable of the C2s because at the back, they had a split window that was insisted upon by Bill Mitchell, who was head of styling at GM. It was removed after one year because the visibility out of the back was terrible, but it's made for an incredibly iconic design that's always picked as one of the best designs in automotive styling over the years. This is it. So this is the C1. This is one of the very first Corvettes built. 53 is when the Corvette came out and they built 300. They were all polo white with a red interior. I don't know if this is a 53 or 54, they were essentially identical in appearance, but it's a six cylinder engine, automatic transmission. So they had the stunning show car styling, but the drivetrain wasn't quite up to the standards that Corvettes evolved into in later years with the monster V8s and fuel injection and so forth. But this is where it all started with the C1. Once again, thanks for watching this episode of Legends of the Highway. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the finish line facility with Corvettes as a featured mark We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.